Alright guys, so today I want to do a quick, fun little video of things I bought during the Black Friday kind of sales at Harbor Freight. And yes, I shop at Harbor Freight because I can afford it and depends on what you're doing, some of the stuff works out pretty well. So I'll show you what I got and we'll see what we think about it. So the most notable item is this battery jump pack. So the reason I bought this is because I'm oftentimes jumping lawnmowers and I'm using jumper cables and a deep cycle battery which has done very well this deep cycle right there but I thought this would be a more portable compact unit especially if I want to try to jump start something away from here so I don't have to lug that deep cycle around like if I'm picking up a mower and I want to see if it'll run I can use this but there's another reason I bought this this also has an air compressor on it and I'm hoping and I don't know we'll find out that this air compressor will be able to work well for inflating tires on mowers I'm picking up that's a big thing because with flat tires, mowers don't roll very well. So I looked at possibly getting a uh, plugged in pump, like a 12 volt pump that I would plug into my truck. But I like this because it's totally portable. You don't have to run the cords and stuff. And really, we're just gonna have to try it out and see if we like it or not. But this was on sale like 10 or $20 off. So I think, I think this was like $60. Not too bad. It says max 250 PSI, which is a lot more than most of those plugged in 12 volt compressors. And it's got 630 peak jump start cranking amps. It's got multiple capabilities in one. I don't really care that much about the work light and the power supply. Although I could see a power supply could come in handy if this was charged up and I remembered that I had it. Before I unbox this, let's go ahead and take a look at what else I got. Got a uh, battery charger. This is a four amp, fairly smart charger. This was $30 on sale. They have a nicer one on sale now for $60. I'm gonna see how well this one works, and if it does what I need, then I'll just stick with it. My other battery chargers have been breaking, or the one I use primarily right here. So I figure it's just time to get another battery charger instead of trying to spend a lot of time fixing that one. Shop towels, you can't ever have too many shop towels. Electrical connectors, these were on sale as well, and I often find myself not having enough electrical connectors for little wiring things that I do, because I don't do them that frequently, and then it's like, oh, I don't have the right parts, I'm trying to find them everywhere. So hopefully this will help out with that, and I should probably figure out how to solder things too. I've got a little non-contact voltage tester, because I've got some uh, electrical products I want to do. Like, I want to get this shop wired in permanently. We're running off of an extension cord out here. Just some cheap mechanics gloves, some to keep my hands a little bit warmer during the winter time. I've had some in the past that worked out fairly well. And I've got a quick clamp. This is my first speed clamp. I've never had one of these before. So I'm excited to see if this helps when I'm, you know, doing a little bit of woodworking, like making a crate for shipping an engine out, or just holding things together. Like if I'm grinding on something, I want to hold it down well. You know, vices work well, but if you have, if you're out and about, you may not have a vice. So I'm excited to see how well this will work because I've never really used one. Last but not least, I finally picked up a face shield. I should have probably had one of these a long time ago. But when I'm grinding and stuff like that, it's really good to wear a face shield. You just want to keep all that stuff off of you, doubly protect your face. I do have the safety glasses, but this is just another layer of protection. So this was not on sale, but they're cheap. Let's open up this stuff and see what we got. So first of all, speed clamp. Not sure how these, oh yeah. And then I guess you just rotate it. And of course, round things don't work really good like that. Everybody else in the world knows how to use these things. Ah, great build quality. I've been using these, and these work great for certain situations, but I think this will work better. Gloves are gloves, nothing too much there. So I hold the button so it's on. Well, that's cool. Never had one of those before. Now I can easily check things to make sure that they're dead. Okay, so here are my leads, and you can either plug in your battery jumper clips, Man, they're insulated on the back side. Why do they do that? I make it harder to make a contact. And this is just like a battery maintainer that you would plug in as well. So you could just leave this connected to a battery that often needs to be charged and you can just plug it in like that. And you don't have to worry about using your clips and making a contact that way. This is one of those things I don't really know how well it's gonna work until I've used it for a while. So now it's on. Saying it doesn't have anything connected to it. All right, so let's um put this thing on a battery. Black on negative, red on positive, and see what it says. 
All right, it's hooked up. Okay, so you can set a type of battery it is. That's saying 12 volt standard, 12 AGM, six volt standard. 12 volt standard, cold outside, that's fine. Okay, so I'll just, I'll just let that thing go for a little bit. It's always good to keep these deep cycles charged up for projects. Now you get to see if I'm bald or not. I'm not. And of course, I need to take off the protective lenses. And then this thing will promptly get all scratched up. That works great. And these things are cheap, so if it, if it breaks, get another one or get a more expensive one. But at least it does something. Oh yeah. Perfect. I can do it for now. So best for last. Uh, I'm excited to get this thing. Especially if the air compressor part works, but I'll probably have to get a hose of some sort. Oh no, it has an inflator valve. That's good. Important. You must charge completely before first use after every jump start and every 30 days or cannot be returned okay now how on earth would they know if you did that which obviously i'll try to do my best to take care of it first to make sure it works well and then i probably won't take quite as good of care of it okay that's a little bit rubberized there so that's good work light well, look at that so bright for reference here's my flashlight i carry on half bright battery usb okay so it's saying it's about two-thirds full there's your little USB plug. These are your thumb burners here. Stick your thumb there to burn it. Oh, that smells like electrical motors. Oh, cool. Oh yeah, it comes with a hose already. This could be a game changer. Man, it stinks. <laughs> so we've also got this little pack of stuff. Like I was saying, the needles and stuff. So you could inflate your um, footballs, basketballs, soccer balls, all that stuff. I hope this works well. It feels very flimsy. That's interesting. Wait five minutes. After turning clamp power on, wait five minutes before starting ignition. The vehicle will not start if you don't wait five minutes. So I guess that's to quick charge the battery. Okay, I can understand that. Hopefully on lawnmowers I wouldn't need to because they don't need near as many amps. This thing is way overkill for a lawnmower, but I can use it for cars and stuff. Go back in there. You came out of there. This is where you have to live. See how much we can overload this extension cord. It's charging. I also bought this. A Harbor Freight 10 by 17 portable garage. I call them a tent shed because it's basically a tent that's used as a shed. I'm looking forward to getting this set up. I've had one before and it fell apart after a few years, but I've got some ideas to try to improve the longevity of it. And I know lots of people out there have ideas as well. Mine is going to be putting half of a billboard canvas on top of it to protect it from the UV. And I'm going to anchor it down better than I did the first time. So we should have a video pretty soon about getting this set up. So the plan is to use this to store nicer mowers or mowers that are cleaned up and ready to sell. Keep them out of the rain and sun and keep them out of the shop also. Let's go back inside. This is all the stuff I bought um, over Black Friday, kind of the Christmas sales. And I'm excited to put this stuff to use. But I also bought a couple other tools that are not related to the Black Friday. It's just because I've got a project coming up. Well, that's just useful. Tire plug kit. Some crow's foot wrenches. I've never used a crow's foot. I don't really know how well they work. But as you'll notice, these are both flare. What do you call it? Double and it's a flare nut wrench set. So I'm going to change out that power steering hose on the Odyssey. And I really wanted a flare nut wrench set, a flare nut tool to get off that line but I didn't know if these would work better or if these would work better so I bought both of them I'm gonna get up in there and see which like looks like it'll work the best and I will probably return the other one so you might be seeing these in uh, another video very soon this thing's been charging up for a little while so let's go let's go test it out because I've got a tire issue on the backhoe here it's been a minor issue it's just I haven't used the backhoe in a little bit so it's flat when I was doing some digging with it, I think I ate some grass or dirt with my bead and it hasn't quite seeded properly, so it's leaking a little bit. It's a great opportunity to test out the pump on here and see how well this thing works. The 
It doesn't feel like it's leaking air, so it must be doing something. It's just too slow for me to see easily. All right, well that thing definitely did its job, but it took its time doing it. So that took probably eight, eight and a half minutes to fill up this tire. It's um, definitely a lot easier than filling up by hand, but it takes time and it runs the battery down a little bit. I don't think the battery was all the way charged up because it switched over to the yellow light. It has a red, yellow, and green light. And it switched over to the yellow light pretty quickly. So I don't think I really had it all the way charged up. But yeah, it, uh, it works. So, I'll be interested to keep trying it and see see if I like it or not. So all right guys, that was a little different than most of our videos. Um, kind of a tool unboxing to show you what I bought. And I'm trying to explain why I bought it, my thought process. And uh, you know, comment below, see what you say what you think. But yeah, let me know if you enjoy seeing videos like this as well in addition to working on things. They don't tend to get as many views, but you know, it's, it's I still like making these, these types of videos because they're simple, easy to make, kind of fun to do. I look forward to putting all these tools to use and this has been a story on Garage Story. We'll catch you guys next time. Stay safe and keep making stories.